do you have a little pucker on your door here? This, this was actually caused by winds here in the foothills. So high winds happen quite a lot. And it, what happens is it pushes against 16 feet of metal. And this is pretty, pretty delicate, pretty fragile. So the wind just goes, foom, 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 right? So we don't see any bumps from a bumper, okay? It's right in the center of the door. So it's obviously wind. And usually wind actually works a little bit higher, but just want to show you, this is what we normally do to re, uh, reinforce something like this, make the door stronger, better than even brand new. Okay, this is what we're using. This is a previous customer of ours. We put on these struts and today, today we're here to, to change the springs. So uh, this is the perfectly balanced door, by the way, with the brand new, uh, with the struts. And we just matched the springs to the weight of the door with these additional braces on. So it's actually a perfect balance. So here's the new springs and here's the old springs. <laughs> Anyways, what I was showing you was this right here, but I might as well brag a little bit. This is one of the old springs. I have them coupled ready to, ready to take back, but you tell me which one you would prefer on your, uh, on your home. Okay, let me line that up nicely. There we go. Tell me which ones you'd prefer. Uh, yes, it's true. There we go, there we go. Adding even just one inch in most cases can add up to or more than 4,000 cycles. That means 4,000 opens and closes just by one inch. And you saw that one is about like four or five inches, maybe six. Uh, so that's that. This is a reinforcement. This door now is stronger than a brand new garage door. Doors are never made this strong. This is used in high wind areas like Florida where there's hurricanes and things like that. But one of those braces is always placed on the door on the top rail here um, because the opener um, does the pushing and pulling from here. So there's a lot of flexing on that top rail. And the part two on that is because as these are shaped, okay, they're shaped to match each other. Okay, and so they fit into each other very nicely. It's a called, this is called a, a tongue and groove design. But this edge folded into this edge together reinforces this entire area unless wind damage from a, a bumper um, and usually it's from the outside because the outside it flexes the door in and then when it goes up it'll fall because it's, cons it's consistently going this direction if it were somehow bumped from the inside then it would almost bow out a little bit and almost be better because when it goes up, it almost straighten out, almost be better, but it's still, you'll see the damage someplace. This place, in this case, there's no damage anywhere except for what the wind caused. And sometimes you might see a tiny little crack. Okay, there you go. A tiny little crack of light from the inside. But if you can see this, <laughs> this strut has been here a while and this door is still working today. And what's so beautiful about it is we were able to save this door, saving thousands of dollars. Just put on a lifetime spring up here. So this one is going to last, we like to think, as long as they own this home. That's the beauty of what we offer. All right, guys. And this is, in fact, a long-term customer, as you can see. That's one of our oldest stickers. So we're pleased to be continue offering uh, uh, great service as, as best we can and keeping doors working in our industry. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.